What's up YouTube, Redbeard's Garage, and welcome back to another video. Well, I've been working on the go-kart all weekend. This is, uh, today is 4th of July, so, uh, worked on the last couple of days. I have ordered the last few little things that I need, and then tomorrow I'll get another last thing I needed. So, what I needed was the inch, uh, one inch, 14 threads per inch, uh, lock nuts for the rear axles, and I got just standard nuts, and I was going to do a jam nut type setup. Them things are $3 uh, per nut, and that is ridiculous. I don't want to buy two more of them. I already got six bucks put up in the two I got. And so for $15 on eBay, you can buy 10 uh, lock nuts. So I'll have enough to do go-karts in the future because I will continue to buy axles from BMI carts, and they all use the same, as long as it's an inch you know, axle, it'll use the same lock nut. Now, what we have done on the go-kart is I finally started it and finally got to hear it run, which that's a huge positive because I never started this motor. I took it right out of the box, broke it down, and made that video and put all the performance parts on it. So I never actually got to see it run. So I was real worried about that. So uh, And it sounds awesome. I haven't took the muffler out of the header yet to see what it sounds like without that. I'm real anxious to see that because I know it's going to sound pretty much like a little Harley. But uh, it sounds awesome. It sounds kind of like a, a four-wheeler would with a little bit of an exhaust on it. So I'll flip the camera around and show you what we've done so far. Okay, here's the motor. I had to cut this uh, part of the frame out because it was only like an inch to two inches from that muffler. So if she ever flexed that suspension any, uh, you know, going in a rough spot or something, I was afraid it was going to hit that header pipe. Better safe than sorry. So I'm going to take it up to my brothers in a few days to get a few days to get something welded on it. So I'm going to weld those caps shut or those bars shut because I don't want it to, you know, water to get in there and eventually rust it. But yeah, the motor is all mounted. It got all the fuel lines ran to the tank. The only thing I haven't got is a cap for this fuel tank. I need to find out the threads of it. And then I can either order one off eBay or worst case scenario, have to get a machine shop to make them. Uh, I got some wires and wire loom laying right there. Uh, I'm putting a battery right under that exhaust on the back of that frame to run the headlights and stuff. And the way I'm going to wire it up is it's going to have a little quick connector so you can plug it up to a trickle charger. Because the battery should run the lights around seven to eight hours, I would think, just some LED fog lights. Uh, there's the sealed lead acid battery that I'm going to be using that came out of a booster box that we lost the charger to at work So um, I got the battery. I love it As you can see I ran the those uh, lines all the way around and Then to those toggle switches. I don't know if these toggle switches are gonna if I'm gonna keep them on here because These lids are spring-loaded and I think just the littlest bump would make them shut and and kill the engine. One's a kill switch and one's a headlight switch. And the only thing I don't like about them is the ground for the, because the end of the toggle switch, the end of the toggle switch has a red LED in it that lights up when it's on and the ground sticks straight down. So probably going to get some new toggle switches to replace those with. I already had those, so that's the only reason I tried it out. And uh, I'm going to finish uh, covering the wires up because I want to look factory as possible. And I got the wire loom ran all the way down there. As you can see, we also got that brake line hooked up. Everything's working great with it. Uh, the only thing I'm having a problem with is this engine puts a lot of vibrations on this frame. So the key stock keeps falling out of the rotor, the brake disc. So what I thought about doing about this was putting a hose clamp around that key stock to kind of keep it from moving side to side. It shouldn't hurt anything. And I may go ahead and put one on each side of the brake disc. Um, but yeah, every time I rev up the motor and sit here and start it, that key stock will actually fall out. Um, so that, that kind of sucks. But um, here's the headlights we put on it. These are 6 inch light bars that you can get on Amazon. I think they're around $15 and they're super bright. It's the same ones I got in the grill of my F-150 old work truck. And uh, so the last thing to do on this thing, other than I got to make, I was going to use that ammo box that was sitting beside that battery to house the battery. But the battery's just a hair bit too small. I'm telling you, if that battery box was, you know, I'm going to say another inch taller, it would have been perfect. Because I want to put some kind of rubber isolator under the battery. Keep it from just rubbing right on metal. Because it will eventually, the vibrations can make it wear a hole in the battery. So the last things I got to do on this go-kart is I got to go buy co-op tomorrow. And buy two bolts that will fit these new front wheels. Fit them real snug. Fit those bushings. 
and uh, then buy lock nuts for those and also buy them an inch longer than what's on this go-kart because the the wheels the width of the wheels is like all the bolt so um, I gotta buy those bolts and then I can take it up to my brother's house and cut the ones off of it um, that's on it now and then we can weld the new ones on put the front wheels on after I get tubes put in the front wheels because both of them I'm sure is uh, full of holes so I'm gonna put tubes in the front wheels and uh, air them up put them new bolts on and we'll be able to throw the front end on and the last thing after that will be to wait for those lock nuts to come in which I can if I have to I will jam nut it but I really don't want to go spend six more dollars on uh, two more nuts that size when I got ten lock nuts coming uh, nowhere's around here sold the lock nuts in that size um, by the way there's one place in Bonor a couple towns up from me that I could have probably got them at I just d don't have time during the week to run up there uh, you know, working at Jackie Jones and then doing my wiring stuff on the side. So, get those bolts welded on the front and get the lock nuts on the rear and then hook up the throttle cable. I'm gonna, this motor came, that engine plate that bolts where the gas tank did, um, came with a little throttle setup, but the size throttle cable I guess I was expecting you to use is, use is smaller than what I'm running. So, what I'm gonna do is uh, you can get these little pieces of metal that basically bolt down and squeeze the outer casing of the throttle cable. And I'm going to have to get my brother to weld me up a little bracket to hold that. And then we can hook it up. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. But real quick, I'll throw a clip up that my wife took on her phone of uh, me revving the engine. Now, of course, the sound quality doesn't do it justice of what it sounds like in person. But it sounds awesome and I'm really happy with it. So, uh, probably by next weekend, we will be riding this thing. I just need to tighten, make sure every bolt on this thing is tightened up and the thing about go-karts is they have no rubber motor mounts no isolators so vibration just goes to everything so eventually i expect bolts to work loose because this thing puts a lot of vibration everywhere on this thing so what i'm going to end up doing about that is i'm going to work up some type of isolator like a thick rubber pad to go under the engine mount and uh, hopefully knock out a lot of that vibrations uh, but yeah you can check out this video of uh, the engine revving up So guys, let me know what you think of the go-kart build. Uh, it's really close to being done. I hope y'all like it. Um, it's saying I put a lot of time and effort and money in this thing. I bought it and it was just a rolling frame pretty much. And everything was pretty much out of sorts on it. There was no engine on it. The, the axle was warped. It, it just had a bunch of crap that needed addressed. So we got everything done. And uh, she should be riding it by next weekend. As long as you know, I get time to run up to my brothers and get everything welded and those nuts come in. But, uh, so, yeah, don't forget to check out our Facebook page. We are selling t-shirts, hats, and stickers, and we got to make a certain order before um, they'll ship out. So, don't forget to go on there, and if y'all want to purchase one, you know, feel free, but I'm not pressuring y'all to buy anything. It's just, uh, it'd be cool for y'all to rep my brand. And also, just don't forget to like the Facebook page, because we're going to do more giveaways. The backup camera, we're waiting on 250 likes on our Facebook page. Uh, we're a little bit over 200 right now, so that's going to happen really soon so if y'all would go on there you know it's going to go for all my youtube subscribers and my facebook uh fans i'm going to kind of you know do a giveaway for the both of them um but yeah don't forget to like comment and subscribe and don't forget to watch other videos on my channel and don't forget to come back to redbeard's garage i'm out